so now that we have our items placed next is we need to have 16 gas cans spread out our map so under entity objects we need to type in scavenge and we have weapon scavenge item spawn and we need to start placing them around our map so I'm gonna insert one first go into properties and we need to name it I'm gonna name my gas can underscore scavenge under disable shadows I'm gonna ch click yes and under flags click on must exist so now that we have our one gas can created all we need to do is just duplicate it kinda reposition it so it's uh, a little more interesting so now I'm just gonna take these two they both have the same name, they both have the same properties that's what we want and I'm going to duplicate them eight times so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and let's put one fifteen six so now we have our sixteen gas cans spread out our environment next we need to insert two point templates and three logic relays so go under entities type in logic relay and we need three of these so I'm just gonna position them all in one area one two three and then I need two point templates one two so let's start first point template I'm gonna name this one as scavenge miscellaneous spawner so basically a point template takes specific items that I assign in my scene so since we already placed many items in our scene and we named them what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them inside the point template and through this point template we're gonna have a logic relay to activate those specific items in each of these point templates we're gonna have a logic relay either kill the items or spawn items so for the first point template scavenge miscellaneous spawner for the template one we're gonna put nav at scavenge checkpoint so type in nav add and we have it right here that's one second one is going to be brush scavenge boundary brush scavenge boundary number two and third one is going to be event scavenge start area event scavenge start area click apply and under flags make sure that preserve entity names is checked so our second point template under name we're gonna give this scavenge stuff spawner and here we're gonna assign weapons and items so for template one we want weapons so scavenge weapons we want items we want our scavenge positions and we want our gas cans flags preserve entity names so we have our two point templates set up and moving down the list we let's set up the first logic relay so the name of the first logic relay is going to be spawn scavenge underscore post uh, uppercase IO and we're going to go under flags and we want to set to allow fast retrigger and under outputs we're going to set up a few output systems so the first one is we want on trigger entity named template scavenge generator so and via this input we want to force spawn so second on trigger again the entity we want is scavenge stuff spawner and we want to force spawn this as well next we want on trigger target entity name this one is going to be event scavenge pour generate game event fourth one is on trigger target entity is scavenge miscellaneous spawner and this one is going to be force spawn and the last one is on trigger again and this one is going to be nav block scavenge the navigation block uh, that we set up underneath the generator and we want to block nav and I'm gonna set the delay in seconds I'm gonna set it to one so we have our first logic relay set up now let's set up a second logic relay this one is going to control and kill all the scavenge stuff and when a player spawns our map in anything other than scavenge all these items including the generator including weapons and uh, uh, player positions uh, they will not spawn they, they will get killed off at at, at the start of uh, survival or versus map this is what this particular logic relay is going to control so we're gonna name this kill scavenge stuff allow fast retrigger and for outputs we're gonna add two the first one is on trigger entity named is scavenge miscellaneous spawner and the second one 
again on trigger and target entity is scavenge stuff spawner and both of these they need to be set to kill so that's our second logic relay and for our last logic relay the name is going to be relay scavenge round start and under outputs we're going to create two outputs uh, both of these are going to be set on trigger but the first one is brush scavenge boundary and we're going to kill and the second on trigger we are going to event scavenge start area and we're going to set this to kill as well flags allow fast retrigger now we have our two point templates and our three logic relays set up our next thing is we need to set up an info game mode also we need to insert an info director so let's insert an info director first info director we're gonna set it right here and then we need to insert info game mode I'm gonna set up right here so first let's set up info game mode let's go into info game mode and name we wanna set this up as info game mode and uh, under outputs we need to set up a few outputs so the first one is going to be on co-op when somebody launches our game on co-op we want to kill scavenge stuff and set via this input to trigger next on scavenge post IO so add new my output named on scavenge post IO target entity named we want to spawn scavenge post IO and via this input trigger third on survival so if somebody launches our game our map on survival we want to kill scavenge stuff set to trigger and last one is on versus and same thing we want to kill scavenge stuff we want to trigger so here we have when somebody launches our game on specific game mode it either spawns or it kills our scavenge related uh, uh, entities so for the last one for the director name name your director director and under outputs uh, there's going to be a total of six outputs so the first one is going to be on scavenge intensity changed start typing on scavenge intensity change and it should pop up target entity named is case underscore scavenge intensity and via this input we want to set in value second is on scavenge overtime start on scavenge overtime start and target entity named relay scavenge overtime start and via this input trigger so we have to set up number three is on scavenge round start on scavenge round start the entity we want to trigger is relay scavenge round start right here and we want to trigger it fourth one is on scavenge timer expired so add a new one on scavenge timer expired target entity relay scavenge timer expired right here I want to set it to trigger and the last two on my output named I want both of them to be on team scored so on team scored target entity branch guess can used so when you tap this in because it's not going to pop up branch underscore gas can underscore used and via this input we want to set value with parameter override set it to one and the last one is going to be on team scored target entity named is at symbol and director and via this input run script code so uppercase R and then we're gonna type in run script code and with parameter override we're going to type in the long script code and it's every word begins with an upper letter uppercase letter director script dot map script dot local scripts dot gas can poured and the last two are a parenthesis so they open parentheses and a closed parenthesis so now that we have our director set up our last thing is to compile and to force a, a game mode to have our map started and see if everything works now uh, a little side note until you have your missions text 
uh, you will need to force a game mode to start your map in. So let's compile, uh, let's do that and let's test to see how everything works. So once we compile and spawn, we're gonna spawn outside the world. That's because we haven't forced our scavenge game mode to start. So now I'm going to force spawn scavenge. So tap in map, map name, scavenge. So we spawn, we can see that everything's working, but first we need to do a few things. Our SV cheats are enabled. SB underscore all bot team set to one and then I can force myself to spawn as a survivor just type in join team and survivor so let's uh, grab a gas can so this is how you set up a successful scavenge game mode